Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is my spring favorites. I only have five items here, so it's going to be a very quick video. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the um, foundation that I'm using at the moment. It has SPF um, 42 PA++, and it's the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I think a lot of you have heard about this already. It's a very popular um, Korean BB cream. And I've actually had this for a while, but I didn't use it because it's kind of grayish. It has a grayish cask, and it's just... I didn't really know how to use it, and then I saw a video from um, Xtiner, and she actually uses it like in a very, very little um, amount at a time. So like, um, instead of what I was doing, which is wearing it like a moisturizer where I put on a big dollop and just rub it all over my face, I ended up with this gray cast that took a long time to oxidize. Instead of doing that, I um, wore it more as a foundation, just put a little bit on and kind of rub it in with my fingers. and. Um, it works very well, so you can actually get this online for very cheap, but I bought mine from Mitsua, or not Mitsua, it's Marukai, which is like a Japanese supermarket for I think 20 bucks, but I'm pretty sure if you find this on eBay, it's a lot cheaper. The shade I have is number 23, and it does go on as a kind of like a grayish cast, but I use so little of it that it actually just kind of blends out. and. I don't know, it works really well, I like it so far, I haven't broken out from it, and I've been using it for, I don't know, like, a month now, so I really like it. The next thing I want to share with you is a lip product that um, really surprised me. This is the L'Oreal Paris um, Color Caress Lip Stain, and this is Berry Persistent, shade number 186. I've actually had this for a little while, um, but I didn't use it, because I kind of forgot about it. You know how when you put something away, and if it's out of sight, you kind of forget about it until you rediscover it? But I've been using this a lot lately. This is on my lips right now. And the shade that's on the um, the package is not the shade that goes on my lips. So my my lips are very pigmented, so they, um, they're naturally kind of darker, a little bit more mauve-y. Um, and when I put this on, it makes it look um, kind of like a flush of berry. It will never be purple like this shade, which I like. Um, but it might not be good for you if you you know, look at a package and you're like, oh hey, I want my lips to look exactly like this. It's not going to be that way. Um, unless you have like white lips. But I really like this. It smells, um, it smells really nice. I actually really like the scent. A lot of people don't like the scent. And it has like a, an applicator that kind of looks like a red blood cell. And I got this for $10 at CVS. I really like this product. I've been wearing it nonstop lately and I really want to try the, um, the coral shade. They have a coral shade that I think would be perfect for spring, summer. Okay, so this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Um, I actually got this for my sister as a sample. Um, I really like the sample sizes or the trial sizes because I never end up using a whole tube of mascara in three months. So what I do is just get the smaller sizes usually or the sample sizes and try that out. And it always works out for me. Like I never actually finish it, so it's perfect. And this is like a rubber wand with a little ball at the end. And I don't know, it just it's perfect for lengthening and your eyelashes end up kind of like spidery or like spider legs and it looks it looks really nice. I like it a lot. Okay, the next thing is a um, revisited item. This is the Aveda Control Paste. I've had this for quite some time. I've had this for like, I don't know, I've been using this for like years and years, but um, I didn't need it for a little while just because my hair was staying in place, I don't know, um, and then it started getting a little bit more humid or like more rainy and stuff like that and then all my baby hairs started showing up and like I got a lot of baby hairs like right here right along here and right up here and stuff like that because I've been shedding a lot too and this is perfect because it keeps everything flat and in place so right when I get out of the shower I just put a little bit bit of this on like just rub it in and then rub it down pat everything down and it's nice because it keeps everything in place without being too greasy or gunky or and all that stuff and um, it smells so good too it just smells like clean and natural and uh, yeah. This is around $20 at Aveda. It's called the Control Pace. And the last thing I have to show you guys is this Jason um, Calming Lavender deodorant. I know I never talk about deodorant, but um, I actually really like this. I never like any other deodorants just because they kind of smell too strong or they smell too, um, or they, I don't know, they're just not like relaxing. When you smell it, you're like, holy crap, you know, it's like, too much or something, but this is just a normal lavender clean scent and it's clinical strength. Like for some reason the Tom's one does not work on me, like right when I apply I start sweating. I don't know why. It just doesn't work and the scent doesn't stay long either. Um, this one works really well. It has no aluminum in it and um, I don't know. 
I got this at Mother's Market. I really like it. It's around six or seven dollars. And I definitely recommend this if you are looking for a lavender scented. I love everything lavender. So a lavender scented deodorant. This is perfect. So look into that. So that's about everything that I have for my spring favorites. Just five items, a very short video. I don't really accumulate that many products over time, so um, this is everything I have for this month, or this season. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.